Okay, we've got another awesome style and image sent into us again, and this one's from Crystal at Dine and Fash. So recipes, outfits, pretty places, travel, and she's a YouTuber and blogger. So I'll be putting all of her links in the description for you guys to go check out her stuff. So as we come down and look at her feed, we can see her whites are very bright and they're almost blending in with the background and her blacks are quite dark, but there's little if any fade in them. And the one other very obvious thing is there's a purple or pink cast to the entire image. So I really like this and let's get into Lightroom and see if we can create something like this. Here's our image from her Instagram and we have very warm desaturated greens. We have that nice purple in the road and pink tint throughout the rest of the image and our very bright whites. So first thing, I've already cropped the image so if we come in here, 4x5 crop, that's what Instagram likes. So the first thing I'm going to do to this image is profile corrections. Now the first thing that we need to do to the colours is purple tint. So this is going to give that purple pink cast to the entire image. And that's pretty much all we have to do for our purple tones. So exposure, going to bring down the contrast. Highlights I'm going to bring up. Shadows I'm going to bring up as there's very little shadows. And you can tell that by if you look over here, very bright image and then it gets dark very quickly. So there's no shadows. Whites. I'm actually going to bring down now. But we will still have a very bright image. So it was pretty bright when it was taken. Blacks, I'm going to bring down. Right, clarity. About there. And onto tone curve. So, very little fade. Just bringing it up a bit. Okay, so tone curve done. Just a very small fade for the blacks and uh, anchor point for those shadows close to those blacks so we're just really creating the fade in the blacks and not in all of the shadows so going to move on to our colors right I think slightly towards the orange this is very minor but slightly more yellow gonna shift the yellows more towards the green that's, that's what you can see now these greens need to be shift a long way towards yellow that's how you get those warm looking greens uh, not much aqua in this blue so it's affecting footpath so we quite like our purple tones, so I'm going to shift the blue towards a dark blue which eventually gets kind of purple. Shifting the purple away from the blue to create even more purplish colour. And we'll shift the magenta a little. So on to saturation, bringing most things down. These reds, I'm going to bring down, just trying to match them up. So pretty desaturated from what I see. Keep orange up a little. Yellows, so just take a bit out of those leaves. Green's got to come down. Aqua. Uh, 
square. Blue. As you can see what it's doing. Just just trying to match them up. Just takes practice to really pick what's going on. Purple. Bring it down to Magenta, just affecting those flowers on the right mainly. So they're about there, I think. And luminance, so bright image. So we are most likely bringing up the luminance of all these colors. Bringing up the reds. Gonna leave the maybe bring up the yellows. I'll leave them there for now. But I'll really bring up the greens. Aqua. I'll bring that up quite a bit. So when we slide the blue now, it's not even affecting blue colours, it's affecting purple colours. And that's because up here we shifted it more towards the purple, more towards the purple, and then we got a lot of purple in there as well from the tint. Uh, split toning, I'm gonna leave, sharpening, and I think that's it guys, there's no grain. No vignetting, leave calibrations, leave, yeah, leave grain. Now, one thing people might want is turning on the histogram. And if we click here, it tells us where we are blown out in our image. So we're not blown out on the dress. You can very, you can just see some details in the lines. So that's about right. But it says, if you're one of those people that really don't like their images blown out, uh, you might be happy with that. It's blending into the background on her one. But to fix the blown out thing, come down here. We'll leave it on. And you'll see it's bring down this just a tad. See what it does, just brings down those highlights. We're going to have to bring it down to 99 and it says they're no longer overexposed. So I might keep it about there. But I mean, it's a style decision. If you want to blow out your picture, you can. But generally, you don't. All right, so let's check out our before and after. So before, it says we're blown out in our highlights. And after. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to leave it there, guys. Go into the description. Give her a follow. Give myself a follow. Leave a comment on what you guys like to see, if you're liking these. And yeah, check out my presets if you are after those. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.